This is one of the world's most poisonous sites, Abogloshi, where your electronic gadgets come to die. Computers, refrigerators, wires, TV sets, you name it. All in hot blazing fire. <coughs> the boys who work here have come mainly from North Ghana and work from dawn to dusk, breaking their back in this toxic smoke. But the real people who pay the price for the waste they leave here <coughs> run into the hundreds of thousands. One of them is Hanan Yusuf, who came here aged 14 and has been working for more than 10 years. Like this work, if you work it at any time at all, you've been, feel, you've been feeling malaria. You will feel malaria and your body will be hot. Even when you bath, it, you won't see it unless you just go to some, some drugstore and buy some malaria medicine and take. And now change seems to be on the horizon. The Environmental Protection Agency is opening a new dawn to change the way and manner in which e-waste materials are collected and processed. We sampled about 100 workers uh, in this scrap yard and looked at their urine and uh, their blood samples. And we analyzed for 12 heavy metals. And the results uh, were just, uh, you know, uh, alarming, which shows uh, the kind of the pollution level in the area and how this is affecting health. Um, so we have done all this work. So we know a lot about what goes on here. Through a new project that the EPA is embarking on, a center is going to be created in the Agubloshi Enclave to buy these e-waste materials from scrap dealers and fix machines that would ensure that they are safely processed and the best of copper extracted from the scraps that are collected. All the burning should stop. You know, burning of sawdust, burning of coconut husk, you know, burning of lorry ties, you know, to you know, shin hides of animals, you know, burning of lorry ties to recover to recover metals, you know, I mean steel, you know, to sell to the steel mills, you know, burning of refrigerator foams, burning of plastic, uh, you know, casings of uh, refrigerators and you know, other electrical gadgets, burning of electric motors to soften them so as to be able to remove copper from them, burning in the evening, burning in the night, you know, so as to avoid when people are around. All these, these acts are prohibited by law. With this project, the EPA seeks to enforce Section 12A of the Hazardous and Electronic Waste Control and Management Act, passed in 2016, which mandates it to monitor the management of hazardous waste and other wastes in order to prevent any harmful effect of these waste materials on human health and the environment. This will not be the first attempt at addressing the e-waste menace in the Agbubuloshi enclave. And players in this space will be keen on finding out what difference this new intervention would make. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Accra.